Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's all doing well. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like and subscribe button. That would be greatly appreciated. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Vasil Hitek Lomachenko versus Richard Kome. Both fighters are coming off very impressive stoppage victories in their last fights. Lomachenko was extremely impressive against Nakatani, much bigger man. Loma was extremely aggressive, but at the same time, extremely scientific and strategic and technical in the way he went about breaking down and stopping Nakatani in that fight. And Richard Comey coming off a dominant, powerful performance against Jackson Marinez, who had just put on a pretty good boxing display, outboxing Rolando Romero in his previous fight, uh, in which he got robbed. Uh, Comey left no, um, left, didn't leave uh, any doubt in anybody's mind who the victor was in that fight. He dominated uh, Marinez, walked him down, bullied him, broke him down and stopped him. So good performances in both their last fights coming into this fight. Both of these fighters are on peak performance, you know, both in their prime still. Now, in this fight, I'm expecting Lomachenko to obviously be the favorite. He is in all of his fights due to his, you know, superb uh, boxing IQ, footwork, and overall, you know, fundamentals, technique, and understanding of, you know, boxing as a whole. Uh, that puts him as a clear favorite in all of his fights, in my opinion. As Lomachenko, in my opinion, is truly one of the greats of boxing, especially at this time. Right now, at the top of the pound for pound list, in my opinion, you don't have to be undefeated to be a great fighter. We've seen that with uh, Manny Pacquiao, and we've seen that with Lomachenko, who, in my opinion, is one of the best um, offensive attacking movers in boxing that I've ever seen, and has some of the best technique that I've ever seen in boxing. Lomachenko, um, in this fight, I'm expecting him to... Uh, Use his obviously his foot speed, uh, his footwork, his boxing IQ to his advantage over Kome, who, in my opinion, you know, is not the most intelligent of boxers out there. He hasn't got terrible technique, but in my opinion, Kome is pretty much too simple and too basic of a fighter to give Lomachenko problems. I think Kome, you know, he's too right hand dependent, he's looking for that long right hand. Uh, in my opinion, you gotta, you gotta be a little bit more. Uh, strategic and you have to be able to set it up a little bit more than just throwing a one two trying to hit Lomachenko um, also Kome does have power on the left hook as well and I'm not overlooking Kome it is a dangerous fight for Lomachenko him being the smaller man and Kome having power in both hands it is a risky fight if he gets lazy or too comfortable in there like he did in the Linares fight where he came in in a straight line he could get caught knocked out in this fight so it is a dangerous fight he'll have to be on the top of his game but if you know, Loma comes in how I'm expecting him to. I think he's going to take uh, Richard Comey to school, probably stop him in the second half of the fight after beating him up, you know, for the first half of the fight, may either making him quit or knocking him out after, you know, wearing him down an accumulation of damage on Richard Comey, who is a very tough, uh, strong and physical guy at that 135-pound division. Other thing I think about Comey is often I think he... He puts too much into the right hand and he therefore overextends and he leans over his front foot. I think Lomachenko could make him pay in, in this fight for that. And also, I, I don't think uh, Kome's understanding of boxing is going to be good enough to be able to take away, you know, a lot of Lomachenko's tricks and weapons in the fight where, you know, Lomachenko is going to look to establish that lead foot dominance. Um, he's going to look to either, you know, when uh, Kome shoots a jab, he's going to look to slip Kome's jab get outside the jab, you know, shoot his counter while, you know, spinning off of him and getting behind Kome's lead shoulder, establishing that T position um, and getting in behind uh, Kome's lead shoulder. Now, that T position that I'm talking about is obviously lead foot dominance taken to, you know, the most extreme level. This is pretty much where Lomachenko is completely outside or behind the lead shoulder of his opponent. And at that point, he turns you pretty much into a, a punching bag. You're pretty much defenseless at that point. You can't punch Lomachenko back. And you also can't really defend against his shots. And he can attack you with both hands. Now, at that point, we're going to see um, if Kome will uh, show off that he has a little bit more boxing knowledge than I think he has. I think he might just, you know, turn on the spot, which is one of boxing's biggest sins. When somebody spins off, you never turn on the spot. Take up the space that they vacated, rather. 
and create distance rather than turning on the spot right in front of your opponent because that's what Lomachenko has been doing throughout his career, establishing that T position, that lead foot dominance, attacking off the outside angle. And a lot of the opponents have turned on the spot and therefore Lomachenko turns you into combinations and he makes you pay because Lomachenko is... In my opinion, uh, Lomachenko is one of the best guys in boxing, maybe the best guy I've seen in boxing, that understands that you want to uh, force your opponent to make positional adjustments uh, continuously throughout the fight. And Lomachenko does this continuously throughout the fight. And while the opponent is trying to make positional adjustments to what Lomachenko has done in the ring, Lomachenko is continuously you know, punching them while they are for example, turning on the spot after he's cut that outside angle on them, spun off them and got into that T position behind their shoulder, they will then try and make their positional adjustment and Lomachenko will be punching while they're turning on the spot. Uh, I think Kome will probably um, do the same thing in this fight. We saw Nakatani uh, fall victim to that in the last fight. Uh, I think Lomachenko in this fight has the advantage on the outside with his foot speed and hand speed, also his head movement great defense on the outside got a very good jab as well i think better jab than richard Come. so on the outside i do believe lomachenko has the advantage and i also believe lomachenko has the advantage on the inside he knows how to smother his opponents on the inside he's very hard to tie up and clinch on the inside got the faster hands of the two guys will go to the head and body on the inside so i think loma has the advantage on the inside and outside in this fight but i think Come is dangerous you know Especially in that mid-range, I think Kome has a lot of power there. Also at long range, got a long range power in my opinion with his right hand. Uh, but at mid-range, Kome is dangerous. I think Lomachenko has got to either be all the way inside or all the way on the outside. And, you know, that's, a bit, that's in my opinion the safest way to fight Richard Kome. Now, Kome does have about a 5 or a 6 inch reach advantage in this fight. And a little bit of a height advantage in this fight. So he is the biggest, stronger man. I think he needs to try and use that physicality, kind of, kind of try and do a little bit of what Salido did, and also, um, he's not that type of fighter like Salido, but he has to be a little bit rough and a little bit tough, also a little bit dirty in this fight. To be, to be honest, I, I don't encourage dirty fighting, but if Koma is going to want any chance to beat Lomachenko, in my opinion, is just on another level in terms of boxing skills and the understanding of boxing. He is going to have to be a little bit dirty and a little bit rough in there, in my opinion, and use his, uh, you know, his physical advantages. But um, due to Loma having quite short arms, he has to close the distance, and that will provide uh, Kome with some opportunities to catch uh, Loma coming in. But because Loma's extremely smart um, in the way that he closes the distance, like I say, using a lot of feints, level changes, head movement, and then establishing the outside angle, to almost take away um, Kome's shot uh, chances of punching him. Like I say, he establishes the outside angle, attacks off the outside angle, and then uh, creates safety for himself by getting in behind your shoulder off to the side where you can't punch him back while he's punching you. So Loma's very strategic in the way he attacks you, but at the same time, there will be opportunities because he does sometimes you know, come in, in straight lines. And we saw even in the Lopez fight, one way to try and take away Lomachenko's strategy of attacking off the outside angle is, is uh, if you don't jab at Loma, uh, then obviously he can't slip outside your jab and counter you and create that outside angle. Then he'll shoot his jab at you uh, to try and double jab and to you know establish the outside angle and get his lead foot dominance outside the lead foot of Kome. At that point, Kome, in my opinion, he's got to try and counter uh, Loma with counter Loma's jab with the right hand. We saw Teofimo Lopez use that pretty effectively in the fight. We saw uh, Floyd Mayweather use that against Manny Pacquiao. If you don't shoot the jab at them, uh, he'll shoot the double jab at you to try and create uh, lead foot dominance, try and jab his way outside your lead foot to set up his left hand and to set up his attack. Shoot the right hand counter straight in between his double jab that obviously will stop him in his tracks and with Koma's power, you know, if he can catch Loma, but obviously it's not that easy with Loma changing levels, using a lot of head feints, foot feints, um, and, you know, has very good reflexes as well. The other strategy I would say, uh, Koma with his height and reach advantage in this fight should look to uh, 
jab uh, Loma, but don't jab just at the head because with Loma's head movement, he will slip outside, counter you, and then start to, you know, create the outside angle and attack you off the angles. So what I would say is, obviously, he's got to shoot the jab maybe at the body, at the chest, because you ain't really going to miss the body or the chest. And once you when you do that, you can kind of control him. Also, shoot the jab at Loma's lead hand because then he's further you're further away uh, from him than if you were shooting it at his head. So shoot it at the lead hand that also controls his lead hand so he can't counter punch you back. And it kind of cuts off his angle from trying to slide outside your jab. So those are some, and that takes away uh, Loma's, you know, chances of attacking you off the outside of your jab. So those are some of the ways to try and nullify some of Loma's tactics in this fight. And also I think uh, Kome has to work on his footwork a bit, but I don't think he's going to be able to make these adjustments to be honest. But these are some of the tactics that, you know, I think he's got to try and employ in this fight. Obviously, he's a bit flat-footed, Richard Kome. He's got slow feet compared to Lomachenko. Flat-footed. Uh, so I think he's going to be in a lot of trouble in this fight. Uh, I think Lomachenko is going to be able to establish uh, lead foot dominance on him. I think he's going to be attacking him off of that T position all night. I think Kome will be turning on the spot, getting turned into shots, getting, you know, hit with shots he doesn't see coming. Because when you get... When an opponent spins off you and you turn on the spot and turn into his shots, those are the shots that often hurt you the most because you don't see them coming. They're coming from the blind spot, coming from your sides. You don't see those shots coming. Those are the ones that hurt you. Now, Kome is tough. He is durable. But I can see him getting turned into a shot in this fight that he doesn't see coming and getting knocked out. Um, so, I am picking Lomachenko to win this fight by a, a knockout or a stoppage, at least. I think he's going to put on a dominant display in this fight. I think... His level of understanding of boxing, his boxing IQ, um, also just being better than Kome both on the outside and inside. I don't really see where Kome can hold his own in this fight other than maybe just catching Loma with a shot and, you know, putting his lights out, with being a big puncher. But, you know, Lomachenko showed he has a good chin, he's pretty durable and he's extremely smart. He doesn't give you too many chances to catch him. He's defensively responsible while being extremely attacking in all of these fights. So it's an uphill battle for uh, Richard Comer, and I'm picking Lomachenko to win this fight by a knockout or a stoppage in the second half of the fight. I think he will, you know, do uh, almost an accumulation of damage on uh, Comer in the first half of the fight, building up, a, you know, quite a lead on Comer and frustrating Comer. Kome may even quit in this fight. Now, he is a very tough guy mentally and physically, but he's going to be going through a lot of frustrations in this fight, not being able to get off any of his shots and getting made to pay every time he tries to do something to uh, Vasil Hitek Lomachenko, and that is very frustrating and discouraging. But we'll see. He is a tough guy, but I do see Lomachenko picking up another stoppage victory in this fight and looking good doing it. So let me know in the comment section below how you guys see this fight playing out. Like I say, I'm taking Lomachenko to win by stoppage. Um, has the advantage almost everywhere in this fight. Don't see many opportunities for Kome other than landing a lucky shot or you know setting up one shot. Uh, so not really a lucky shot, but other than a puncher's chance, I don't give Kome uh, really any other chance of winning this fight. Lomachenko has the foot uh, footwork, foot speed, hand speed, boxing IQ, like I say, better on the outside, better on the inside, uh, has almost every advantage in this fight other than the physical advantages, and as we know, skills pay the bills, and Lomachenko clearly has the skill advantage in this fight. Now, like I say, Loma either got to be all the way outside or all the way inside in this fight, don't get caught in the mid-range against Kome, uh, distance is defense, so use the legs when you're on the outside, and obviously when you want to come in smother him when he wants to attack and you know get off your offense off of your angles like i say establish lead foot dominance um get on the outside establish that t position obviously lamachenko is a true master you know boxer so looking forward to seeing him put on another clinic uh come december 11th thanks for listening guys talk to you again soon cheers